What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to show you guys how to get Weatherlight version 2 onto your iOS 14 device. Now this has been out for a little bit. It's very similar to the first version. It's just got some new features basically like what you're seeing here. You do have an hourly kind of graph forecast which looks really cool. It does display the, uh, the current temperatures of that forecast. It also displays um, precipitation um, in there as well. I don't have any precipitation today, so that graph is not being displayed, but it's really, really cool. So it, it's pretty much, like I said, the same as version one, except for now you have a few new options, including this graph. Um, and it's gonna be the same concept as version one for installation. I do wanna make a side note that uh, iOS 14.5 beta two has broken shortcuts that allow you to do this. So if you're on beta two of 14.5, you will need to downgrade to like 14.4 in order for this to work. Like I said, beta two has broken it. Uh, the first beta of 14.5 still works. That's what firmware I'm on. So I'm not actually going to update to beta two uh, until hopefully Apple gets it fixed. That way I can still do videos for you guys on these cool shortcuts. So 14.5 beta two has broken this. 14.4 you'll be good and other versions of 14.5 you'll be good as well now we're going to download it from the i heaven discord as we normally do and we're just going to come into i heaven as you guys can see here i'll leave the link for this discord down in the description so just come here you go to the weather light gallery and then you swipe over to the side and then you can click on the pins there and as you can see that will display the post for weather light version 2. all you got to do is click on this post and then you can start downloading uh, everything you need. So the first is the files, and then there is the actual shortcut, and then there is uh, updated languages, as you can see here. So if, if you don't speak English, I'm sure most of you that watch these videos speak English, but if you speak a different language or use a different language, uh, just keep in mind that the languages are continuously uh, being updated, and this is the file to update the languages if you don't have a supported language in it. Uh, but the first thing we can do is download the files for weather light version 2 just go ahead and click download here now it's a it's a decent sized file so give it a little bit of time here to download and i will be back as soon as it's done all right now the file is done downloading so what i'm going to do is click on more and i'm going to save this to files right here and then you're going to need it to go into the ios weather folder within the shortcuts folder if this is your first time ever installing any of these weather shortcuts uh, that I've been making videos on, you will have to create this iOS weather folder. Uh, and this is in the iCloud Drive. So iCloud Drive, shortcuts folder, and then iOS weather. Um, like I said, if you don't have that folder in shortcuts, you can just basically go to shortcuts, click the plus button, and then create the folder uh, called iOS weather. And it is case sensitive. So it does have to have a capital O, S, and W, and the rest are lowercase, just like that. And then you can click on done, and then you will have the folder there. But I already have it, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, all I'm going to do is go into shortcuts, go to iOS weather, and then save this file there, just like so. Uh, now, while we're still in Discord, we can download the shortcut, which is just that link right there. So just go ahead and click on the shortcut link. Give this a second to load. It is a big shortcut, so sometimes it can take a little while to load. Okie doke, so that took a little bit to load. Just click on Get Shortcut. It'll jump you into your shortcuts application, and then all you gotta do is scroll to the bottom. Quick way to do it is to grab onto that little side slider there, and uh, just click Add Untrusted Shortcut. I already have it. I'm just gonna click on Replace to replace it. And when we go to Shortcuts, as you can see, there is Weatherlight version two. So now we have the files and the shortcut. So what we can do is go into the files application and I'm already in the iOS weather folder. I'll back up to show you guys how to navigate there. A lot of people ask me how to navigate to this folder. So again, iCloud drive, go down to your shortcuts folder and then your iOS weather folder. I have a bunch of them cause I've been doing so much testing of these shortcuts. It's a little crazy. Let's go into the iOS weather uh, folder. And then there's the zip file there. All you gotta do is click on that zip file and it will uh, extract it. And then you can delete the zip. You don't need it anymore. And then you can see we have Weatherlight version two. So like I said, very, very similar to the first version of Weatherlight. 
um, just some added new features. So the kind of same principles are gonna apply to this. So you have all of your images here, you have backgrounds, uh, you have uh, blanks, you have uh, profile images, you have your icon sets there. As you can see, you can add more weather icons to these if you want. There's a ton available in iHeaven. You just gotta search around through the uh, weather light shares or real weather shares. There's icon packs there. You got your moving sun and moon. You got your timed walls. This is a new feature with version two. So you have different wallpapers being displayed uh, depending on what time of day it is. So as you can see, there is the wallpaper that's gonna be displayed during the afternoon, the evening, the morning, night, noon, afternoon, um, evening. And these are for the lock screen and for the home screen. So that's kind of a new feature. Uh, but let's just uh, focus on the simple things here. So uh, now that we have all the files, all we got to do is we can just run the shortcut. Now you guys are going to see uh, my setup is going to basically completely change. And on a side note, for those of you that are wanting my setup, it will be coming out shortly in iHeaven. So just stay tuned for that. I call this one Martian. So that will be available soon. I'll probably do a video on it once it's released. But let's go back into shortcuts. Let's go ahead and run weather light and you're gonna get a couple of pop-ups um, just click on okay and keep in mind uh, when you click on these the okays uh, all you gotta do it is one time and then you'll never have to do it again so we'll just click on okay on all of these different pop-ups here giving it permission to access certain things and I have the bug where it's not going to update or show me the progress of the shortcut I absolutely hate it when it does that uh, but hopefully here in a second it should update and look completely different Maybe we can, what we can try and do here is kill shortcuts from multitasking and run it again, just so I can see a progress bar. All right, so there we go. It is going through and running. Let's see if it takes uh, the changes this time. It's a really annoying bug with shortcuts is it not displaying a shortcut running and no progress bar. Okay, so the, the lock screen did change. Let's see if uh, if the, JSON file. Oh, there we go. So now the home screen has changed. So it took a little while there. Sometimes the first time you run this shortcut, it can take a little while for the changes to take effect. Uh, but as you can see, the lock screen is different. The home screen is different. This is uh, kind of the stock look that comes with um, Weatherlight version two. Now I'm going to spend a little bit more time in this video and show you guys how easily you can apply different setups with uh, Weatherlight. Uh, just because that's the beauty of it is it allows you know, uh, uh, people like myself that understand the um, the JSON files and how to manipulate them and how to change them to make different setups. It allows us to create really cool setups and then you guys can easily download them and use them. So we're gonna go back to Discord and uh, we're gonna go to the Weatherlight Gallery. This is where a lot of really cool uh, setups are being posted. As you guys can see here, I'll actually go to the very bottom so these are all Weatherlight version two. You can tell by the name Weatherlight version two. You can have version one and version two both on your uh, your iPhone. Just keep that in mind. You can use them both independently. So if you wanna use V2 for your home screen and still use version one for the lock screen, you can do that, totally possible. Uh, but there's a lot of really cool, you know, different setups using V2. As you guys can see, here's another one. So I think what I'll do is, um, Let's just find one that looks really cool here. I mean, they're all pretty cool. And I'll do one for example. So let's do this one right here uh, by Byron. Uh, so this is a lock screen and a home screen. So there's the download. Just go ahead and click on the download and this is gonna download all the files you need to use the setup. So just click on download. And of course, depending on how large the download is, that will take longer or be shorter. Go to more again, go to save to files. And then again, we're gonna go into Weatherlight version two. It will just save it in that folder. It'll be easy to find. So now we have the zip file saved. We can go into files. And then in the Weatherlight version two folder, we should find the zip file somewhere. Let me back up and go back into it. Oh, right there. So uh, iOS weather, Weatherlight version two, and there is the zip file with all the files we need. Again, click on it to unzip it. Go ahead and delete the zip. You don't need that in there. And then as you can see, here are the, the icons that are used. Right there. So there's a couple different icon sets. There is the overlays. And then there is the set of timed walls there as well. So uh, 
basically to enable this this theme now we have to set up the JSON files and we have to set up all of the images uh, so what we can do is since these are all their own independent uh, folders what we can do is we can go to the main images and then for icons I'm actually going to just rename this you could of course move the files with actually we'll do it that way we'll keep it so that you guys don't screw up your file system and break it so uh, we'll go in here we'll grab the images we'll grab uh, each icon pack here so we'll do select we'll select each uh, folder there and then we're going to just simply click the folder uh, icon at the bottom go to shortcuts go to ios weather go to weatherlight version 2 go into images go into icons and then we can save those two items there so just click move so we've moved to the icons now we need to move the overlays again same concept go ahead and select both of those click the file image at the bottom and then we're going to go up to shortcuts go into ios weather go into weatherlight version 2 go into images go into overlays click move again now we've moved the overlays and now we have the timed walls here now this one i'm not sure let me take a look at the files and the way those are set up because uh, this can be a little interesting so we got timed walls here all right so basically we want to replace this whole folder just because it's a, a whole folder uh, so what we can do is we can rename this original one um, we don't want to lose it because we might want to use it in the future so i just like to rename it with numbers we'll do timed walls uh, one and now we're going to want to move the timed walls from this one so just go ahead and actually what we'll do is we'll do uh, select same idea timed walls folder and then shortcuts ios weather weatherlight version 2 images and then this is where the timed walls will go so we'll just move that file there so now we've moved all of the images these folders are emptied out as i've moved them into the proper folders and now we have the jsons here so again same concept just select go ahead and select both move the files into the json section so uh, shortcuts weatherlight version 2 uh, images Actually, we need to just go to Weatherlight version 2 and then JSON folder there. Uh, so just move those into the JSON folder. Again, move. And now we should be ready to rock. So now we have all of the files into the original file system. This might seem confusing to you guys. I know once you've done this enough, it gets really, really easy. Basically, you just got to keep the core file system there. You don't want to delete things. Um, just know what you're replacing and what elements are needed in these. It, it's it's a little technical. Like I said, guys, if you just do this, you know, a few times, play around with it, you'll start to learn and understand how it works. So uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to tell Real Weather version, or sorry, Weather Light version two, uh, to use these uh, new JSON files. So the JSON files is the BKS. So there's one for the home screen and there's one for the lock screen. Uh, so what you can do here is, actually, I'll just try and remember it. So it's a capital B, capital K, lowercase s. I'll just reference back to it. Or actually what we could do is do rename, and then we could copy that, and then click done. And then what we can do is the general JSON, so uh, 00, 00 general. This is the uh, JSON file that is telling which uh, setup to use so from here I like to just click on it and do share and then open it in text tastic and as you can see this is Where it's basically telling it what to do so from here What you can do is kind of swap back and forth if you need to just copy the names uh, So we'll do the lock screen first again. I'll do this by renaming So this is for the lock screen. We'll copy it. I'll just click done So lock screen and then the lock screen name here. So what we can do is since we have it on our clipboard, we can just delete this. I like to put a space because sometimes it's hard to click in there to put in a paste. As you can see, it's a little tricky, so there we go. Paste it in, and then I did put a space in there, so I want to delete that just so the file name is 100% correct. Uh, and now we need to do the same thing for the lock screen. So again, we're gonna switch back and find, oh wait, the, the home screen, sorry. Uh, for the home screen, 
So we're going to switch back and the home screen is right here. Again, same thing. All you can do uh, or all you need to do is rename and then copy the name, copy, click done, and then swap back to the um, text tastic here to edit the general JSON. Go ahead and delete that name out. I like to put a little space, try to get the click in there. There we go. Click paste. And then I'm going to go ahead and quickly get rid of that space. Like I said, I only do the space so it's easier for me to click to paste it. So now the uh, JSON file knows to use that setup. I'm going to change the name so it matches my name. There is no quick settings in Weatherlight version 2. Uh, so you have to make edits in the general JSON. So we'll just do that. And now the files have changed. Let's run the shortcut. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if all these work together properly. And let's see if the setup changes uh, to Byron's setup. Like I said, it seems complex, I know. Especially if you're the first, it's the first time you guys have ever seen this. Um, it's really gotten more advanced over time. So there you go, there is Byron set up. As you guys seen, it literally changed right in front of you. We can go to the lock screen and there his, is his uh, lock screen set up. So that's what's really cool about uh, the Weatherlight series is that it's really easy to switch setups essentially, at least in my opinion. You just need the files and you need to know where to put the files. They're pretty self-explanatory. If you simply just go into files here and then you kind of just explore Weatherlight V2 files, you will kind of understand what is going on here. Um, like I said, very similar to version one. I do have an advanced video for you guys from version one explaining how to use Textastic and how to edit those these JavaScript um, files here and how to edit them. And if you guys are looking to create setups like this yourself, like I said, it's pretty advanced and I do have a very long advanced video explaining uh, pretty much everything about it. So I'll leave that video linked down in the description. Um, but that's gonna be pretty much it for this video, guys. Just wanted to show you uh, Weatherlight version two and how to install a theme. Like I said, all of that can be found in iHeaven. The link is in the description. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.